Father Steve Matea here with you again for another exciting thing that we here at Our Lady of Good Counsel Catholic Church in Plymouth, Michigan are trying to roll out to you. We're going to try to have a quick little segment, just a brief uh, impromptu, if you will, segment uh, explanation uh, on the, the scriptures from Sunday. This Sunday we're coming up on the 13th Sunday of Ordinary Time. I have my Magnificat here. Everyone should uh, should get a Magnificat as the the daily readings, the Sunday readings. I'm literally in my office drinking my uh, my cup of coffee, my morning caffeine kick, and just reading the Word of God. Sometimes on Sundays it's really easy to piece together specific things that the church and that the Lord is trying to unite uh, to try to pull together all the different readings, and sometimes it's very difficult. Uh, one of these, uh, one of the easy times is this Sunday. There's an obvious theme, right? In the first reading, we hear of Elijah, who is the major, one of the major prophets of the Old Testament. He's gone out and he's preached to the Israelites and he's called them back to the Lord. And then he's walking through the, uh, through the region and he sees Elisha, one of the other men that he called, right? He sees Elisha and he calls him to follow him. But Elisha says to him, he says, please let me kiss my father and my mother goodbye, and then I will follow you. Elijah says to him, go back. Have I done anything to you? Which means, why is it that you don't want to just follow me, follow the Lord right now? And Elisha then does go back and follow the Lord. But when Elijah calls him, He's actually plowing the fields. He's got the yoke of 12 oxen, and he's plowing the fields. So the theme of call and the theme of yoke, if you will, is in this, this theme of the readings. We then turn over to the second reading, which is St. Paul to the Galatians. And St. Paul is, is exhorting, is challenging the Galatians. He's saying, brothers and sisters, for the for freedom Christ has set us free, so stand firm and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. This theme yoke comes up again that we heard in the first reading, right? A yoke is something that, that is placed on the, on the cattle and, and the, the farmer or the man who's tilling the field is able then to control the cattle as they're, as they're plowing the field. We hear in the gospel, not the, this gospel from Sunday, but we hear in another gospel, Matthew's gospel, chapter 11, we hear Jesus saying, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. That doesn't mean just, just earthly burdens, but ultimately the number one burden that, that we struggle with as Christians, as, as people of, of God, is the burden of sin. And so St. Paul is challenging us, and he says, do not submit again to the yoke of sin, to the yoke of slavery. And we don't want to be attached to the slavery of sin. And so the Lord Jesus is saying, take that yoke and place it upon me, because my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And the Lord Jesus wants us to make him our Savior. He wants us to give him our sins. So then we turn forward to the gospel, which is from the gospel of Luke, chapter 9. We see Jesus walking through these Samaritan villages, and he sends out his messengers to go before him to prepare the way. And the Samaritans and the Jews, they were always at odds with each other, and for a number of reasons that we just can't go into here. And so the Samaritans wouldn't let Jesus' followers go through the Samaritan village. And so Jesus says that he says the son of man has nowhere to rest his head foxes have dens and, and birds of the sky have nests but the son of man has nowhere to rest his head and we too being followers of christ we have nowhere truly to rest except in the bosom of our savior except in his sacred heart so as the gospel continues a man runs up to him and and says and he says to him follow me but the man just like Elijah from that first reading says, uh, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. And Jesus answers him, let the dead bury the dead, but you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. And so we see here again that so many of us put up excuses so often when we hear the call of the Lord. But we must seek and we must always ask the Lord, what is it, Lord, that you want me to do? And first and foremost, what he wants us to do is he wants us 
to give him our burdens, to place his yoke upon us so that we can be cleansed in his image, so that he can be our savior. St. Paul says that we do not want that yoke of slavery. And the only slavery that binds us at all on this earth is the slavery to sin. We have to allow Jesus to be our savior. We have to give him our sins. We have to follow him, which Elijah was calling Elisha, and as Jesus was calling the man in the gospel, the, the image. And so we have to follow the Lord when he's calling us. Let us lay it all down this week. Let us follow him. Let us make him our savior. We're going to continue doing this throughout the, uh, the weeks to come. Hopefully uh, it proves beneficial for, for those of us as we prepare for Sunday. Let us give it all over to the Lord. Let us love him and make him love.